Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. In today's video, I am gonna talk about Cyborg DNA tool. What is DNA, discovery and audit? So this is the web page from Cyborg and you can request to request this tool to scan your network, do kind of uh, assessment on your AD or your local computers. This video is gonna show you how to download it, how to install it, and how to do the scan. Basically, you need to go into your SFE site, Secure File Exchange website, and uh, you can browse to the CyberArk services folder, services folder, and you will see DNA to 8.1, 8.2, and then you can download it. There's one thing you need to know, the version you downloaded is unlicensed. You, to run this tool, you have to have kind of license. It's free license. You can request it from your CyberArk sales engineer and uh, you can get it and then to do that. I already got the license, I already downloaded it. So I'm gonna put it into my lab environment and gave it to try. It's only 23 Mac file, very small. Extract it. And you will see the unlicensed folder. It, it's simple, you don't have to install it. It's a portable tool, you can run it in anywhere in your environment, as long as it can talk to your AD, talk to your target machine. So double click it and then you will get to the main interface here. CyberArk DNA, Privilege Account Discovery and Audit Tool. So license required. So you have to request a license. If you don't have license, the, system, the tool will gonna quit itself and they will not let it continue. But you can get it for free from your sales engineer, from your account manager. So my version is 8.2.0.1. So there's a couple of uh, options, discovery. You can discover your active directory. You can discover by IP address. Um, using by IP address, you can easily scan your local computers without uh, AD domains. And you also can do AWS cloud service, discover the cloud assets as well. Let's try active directory in this case. I have a tested AD domain set up for this and um, you need a user, password and domain to connect into. I have an administrator account, password. I have a domain 51sectest.com and you can choose the OU. Um, so basically, I would choose everything from 51 sec test. There's three workstations, seven servers, 10 total. Some of them maybe is, has been turned off. Uh, there's no Unix server here, so should be able to ignore that. Just do start scan. It shouldn't take too long to get it done. My environment is very small. Again, this is my test environment. So that's why I can do the scanning. If you are using it in your production environment, please make sure you notify your system admin, domain admin, and uh, let them know there's a scanning gonna happen to the network. Uh, my license limited the scanning to a 500 Windows server and a 500 Unix machine. If you have bigger environment, then you need to request a different license. And I found uh, successfully one, scanned one and found the 13 account. Now we can go back to the folder to see the reports. So here is the reports we just 
scan date you can see the time it's matching the time right now let's open it and to take a look that's a report we just generated so we scanned it um, one minute ago so license name created by user admin one So basically we have 8% non-compliant accounts. Privilege account is total non-compliant. Privilege account is one. Out of the 13. So it's only one out of 13 at 8%. So I have two Windows machines found it. Non privilege account is nine, privilege account is four. So that means I have one account not on board. So you can check other tab to see the details. Where is that account? Is that the main one account? Vulnerable to pass the hash. And there's one account, PSM one account which is non-compliant. Scan errors. There's some machines existing in the DNS record but cannot be resolved because maybe it turned off. Yeah, I believe so. Some of machines that's just test machines. And here is explanation what the DNA gonna do for this job. What is the password and hash? We have one account is vulnerable to pass a hash. And we don't have a Unix machine, yes and no SSH keys. So basically this tool gonna give you a good overview of your environment, how it's secure for your from your account perspective. It's a great tool, it's helpful, and also let you know how far you have done for securing your privilege account. Thank you for watching.